Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, I posted that Windows 11 24H2, the AI Explorer that we um, were expecting to see roll out, may officially be titled Recall and Snapshots. And I'll leave that video in the end screen for what it's worth. Now, just to let you know that yesterday at Microsoft's May 20 event, if you haven't heard already, that Microsoft now has officially announced Recall. So AI Explorer will not be called AI Explorer and will have the umbrella name called Recall. And um, basically, as I've been mentioning previously, it will be a souped up version of Windows Copilot. And this means it will be embedded more um, deeply into the actual OS and will basically be able to keep track of everything you do on your PC uh, when it does roll out with Windows 11 24H2. Now, Microsoft has this to say about the new recall feature, um, just to kind of get us on the same page, and I'm quoting. They say, in today's workplace, people are struggling to stay afloat in a flood of meetings, messages, files, and information. And yeah, by the way, is just a screenshot um, that Microsoft provided from that announcement. They say that with recall, in just a few words for context, you can find almost anything you've seen on your desktop. Just describe it using text or visual search and recall will show you snapshots of the most relevant content in a way that feels like having a photographic memory. They also carry on to say that seamlessly take the next step in your workflow right from the snapshot, including relaunching the original content in a web page or Microsoft 365 app. So basically, in a nutshell, what that means is it will remember your websites, your chats, your apps, your files, and basically everything you do on your PC. Now, obviously, this um, is causing and will cause a privacy alert for a lot of users um, when it comes to privacy. And Microsoft has this to say regarding the privacy aspect, um, and I'm quoting once again from that announcement. They say, with enhanced privacy controls, you can decide which information Recall can capture. And Recall will also be designed so that even the AI running on your device can't access your private content. Over and above that, they mention that IT admins can use Microsoft Intune to, dis to disable Recall from saving any snapshots and new policies are coming later to enable RT to centrally filter specific apps and websites. Now, that's according to Microsoft. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually um, is this is going to be all about when it comes to privacy and if this is going to be causing a lot of privacy issues on Windows. And yeah, we can see, as I've mentioned previously, um, it's basically a souped up timeline, very similar to task view. And Windows Timeline, where, as mentioned, it will recall everything you've done on your PC, as um, Microsoft has said from that announcement. And they've also mentioned that Recall will also enable you to open the snapshot in the original application in which it was created. And as Recall is refined over time, it will open the actual source document, website, or email in a screenshot. They also mentioned that this functionality will be improved during Recall's preview phase. So obviously, this is this AI recall, previously known as AI Explorer, is going to learn basically your computing habits and obviously then adapt accordingly regarding this timeline and uh, the actual source document, website or email to basically provide that screenshot for you, as we can see in this um, image provided from that announcement. So um, this is going to be an interesting one to watch. And... At this stage, though, it is worth noting that um, Recall, according to Microsoft, is optimized for English, Chinese simplified, French, German, Japanese, and Spanish. And they have mentioned that support for more languages is basically coming, um, and they are planning to roll this out eventually where it can retrieve information in 160 languages. So obviously there's still a bit of work to do before this does make its way to the general public with Windows 11 24H2. But there you go, guys. AI Explorer is no more. Uh, it's now called Recall and will be a souped-up version of Copilot, as I've mentioned previously, that will be more integrated into the OS. So that will be more integrated into the actual shell and the running processes um, of the OS. And as mentioned, um, will basically keep track of everything you do 
on your PC. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.